and welcome to the Carolinas Luxury Real Estate Podcast. For all those new to the podcast, please feel free to follow the link in this episode to our past seasons and explore all the great luxury real estate content. On today's episode, we are talking about coastal golfing. I'm your host, Sam Sparks, and joining me to discuss this topic is Jeff Waller, an experienced agent at Ivester Jackson Coastal Christie's. Thanks for joining me today, Jeff. Sure thing. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. We're glad we could get you on here. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. Can you tell us a little bit about your background and what brought you to Ivester Jackson Coastal Christie's? Well, what brought me into real estate was my wife. My wife's been an agent for about seven years, and I had a 35-year career in the golf business and retired. So she asked me a couple of years ago to get my license, and it has been so fun. And we just joined uh, Ivester Jackson Coastal Christie's uh, this fall. Uh, we came from Sotheby's. And so, you know, we made the leap and here we are at Christie's and we absolutely love it. <laughs> absolutely. It's funny when I was uh, looking to join a firm, I looked at Sotheby's as well. But uh, I mean, I don't think you can beat I, Mr. Jackson. You really can't. No, you can't. It and it's a uh, nice small boutique, uh, you know, firm, which we really like. Mm -hmm. Well, now I understand why we have you talking about golf today, 20, 30 years in the industry. This is going to be a good podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I've got a little information. <laughs> well, we can't wait to hear it. Well, I guess uh, question one would be, you know, tell us about the private clubs in the Wilmington area in terms of golf courses. You know, you've got options like at Landfall, Cape Fear. Well, Wilmington's got some great private golf. Um, it starts with Cape Fear. That's the old club in town. So you have a history there of a lot of old money and uh, it's a little harder to get into. You know, you, you need a little legacy to get in Cape Fear Country Club. Uh, then I think next would be in line would be Landfall. Landfall is a great club. It's got 800 members. It's got 45 holes of golf, uh, 27 Jack Nicholas, 18 Pete Dye. Uh, currently, the membership is full. There's like a five year wait list thanks <laughs> to COVID. Um, and then you have Porter's Neck, which is up in the Ogden area, and it's a great private club, too. It's owned by McConnell Golf, which he's really done a nice job across the Carolinas uh, with a nice portfolio of courses. Um, it's about a $30,000 initiation fee. I hear there's about a six-month wait list to get into Porter's Neck now. Again, thanks to COVID, all these country clubs are pretty full. Um, we do have an elite, elite club called Eagle Point Golf Club. And it's more of a men's club. It's not more of a country club. Those guys would prefer out-of-town members. They prefer not to see you every day like a traditional country club. But it's an unbelievable course. I mean, you know, you, you really get the experience with caddies. And uh, so those are the, th the four main privates in Wilmington. Uh, you do have some other semi-private courses in the area. In Leland, you have um, at Brunswick Forest Plantation, that development, you have a course called Cape Fear National. Um, it's I'm hearing it's about full too. Um, then you have another uh, golf course called Compass Point, and it's a new development. Um, so that is a semi-private. I think their dues is a little bit differently. If you pay 100 bucks a month, you get unlimited golf and just pay card fees there. So that's a pretty good affordability. They do have a lot of semi-private golf courses in the area. In Leland, they have Magnolia Greens. At Carolina Beach, they have Beau Rivage Country Club. Um, going to Southport, got a great club in Southport called St. James. And St. James is one of the, the absolute uh, stellar developments on the East Coast. Might be one of the, the most successful developments on the East Coast. It has 81 holes of golf. So you have a ton of golf courses there and it's pretty affordable. I think the initiation fee is about $30,000. Uh, so that is a, that is really a really true retire community. Um, Ballhead Island has a great, fantastic golf course over there. And if you've never been to Ballhead, it's an experience on its own. You catch a ferry, there's no cars, it's golf cart only. Uh, and the golf course is really good. I think one of the sleepers in Wilmington is a municipal course. They've got a great muni course that was designed by Donna Ross. So Donna Ross is, you know, absolutely one of the most renowned golf course designers ever. 
And it's really is a little sleeper, you know, it costs you about 50, 60 bucks to play. And you don't think it'll it's much, but it eats your lunch. It's it's really a fun golf course to play. So the, so the golf around here has been great. Hampstead has a lot of semi-private golf courses. Um, Southport, they have a, uh, a public golf course called Carolina National. It was designed by Fred Couples. So there's just this whole area has a, a really good golf history. Yeah, I mean, I did not realize that you had that many courses and then so many holes on those courses. I mean, you said 41, 81 holes. I mean, yeah, 45 holes at landfall, that's... which I, I belong I belong there. And it's it's great because you're not playing the same course every day, which makes <laughs> it really, really nice. Well, yeah, um, it would take you at least two days to play that, wouldn't it? I mean, yeah, great. but 81 holes, at, at you know, St. James is, is incredible. You yeah. never get bored, I would think. No, so, I, I don't know how you could. <laughs> wow. So, so we've got a great offering. Even if you couldn't, even if you bought a home and you couldn't get in the club right away that you wanted to, you know, there's a lot of good alternative semi-private and public golf courses in this area. So you're not going to lack on uh, your golfing. Yeah. So. When you kind of touched on the waiting list and membership fees, so it, it sounds like, you know, there's a range of a five-year wait list to maybe what a, a few months to a year, right? Or, yeah, six months, like Porter's next, like I heard six months out. Okay. Um, That's not bad. Cape Fear National at Brunswick Forest, they just they just converted to private just in the last year. And so the members came in and made it private. And again, that development is a very, very nice development. It's very successful over there too. Nice. So. And then as far as the out-of-town memberships, I think you said one place even prefers that, correct? Like they prefer to have... Yeah, Eagle Point. So Eagle Point is, it's, it's a traditional men's club, not a true country club. And so, you know, they prefer that if you play, you know, they don't want a guy showing up five times a week. <laughs> you know, they, that's just not their MO. So there's a lot of out-of-town members that come in and they'll, they'll come for two, three days and play two, three days with their guests and friends and it is it is truly an experience if you ever get a chance to go to eagle point and play if somebody invites you there you really need to take you up on it caddies are great and you know it's just a true golf experience mm -hmm. so. nice so what about other golfing communities at the coast you know you mentioned bald head island st james plantation you know what are those looking like in terms of location and lifestyle well, Ballhead is, you know, a totally different lifestyle because you have to catch a ferry and then you're strictly on golf carts over there. So, you know, it's more of a uh, it's more of a lifestyle where you're going and you're staying a week. You're just not going over for the day, mainly um, Ballhead. And in the whole they've got just a great, great country club. I mean, they, they have the whole dining facilities. They have tennis, they have pickleball, and then they've got a championship golf course. Um, you know, St. James, like I said, they have five different clubhouses for their golf. And um, so it's a good one. Um, you know, the Brunswick Forest and the Compass Point, they're fairly new developments, but they're centered around golf. You know, that's what that, a lot of these developments, that's what's bringing homeowners into that community is the golf course. Um, so like, like I said, Landfall is my favorite 45 holes gated community, uh, very upscale. Um, it just recently got, I think, ranked as uh, top 10% in the country. So, yeah, I have to say, I'm excited to check some of these places out. <laughs> they sound and, amazing. And then, and then Sam, I, I got to tell you, if you go an hour south towards Myrtle Beach, then, then it opens up a can of worms with golf courses. And you <laughs> probably have 50 or 60 golf courses up there within within 30 minute drive out of so jeez just too many options <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good this is definitely this this coastal area is definitely a golfing community mm -hmm. no yeah, question. It's a problem to have yeah all right so let's talk about you know the options for public um you know the public or people who may you know own a part-time residence and just want to hit the link sometimes you know where are some of the better options in that area well, in, in Wilmington, you have the Muni. And like I said, that was designed by Donald Ross, which is great. And if, you, and if you're visiting up towards Carolina Beach, that's Beau Rivage. If you're towards the Hampstead or Topsail area, 
you know, you've got a Castle Bay Country Club, you've got Old Point Country Club, and you've got a really fun one. It's called Ironclad Golf and Beer Garden. Oh. And it was the old Belvedere Country Club and, and somebody bought it and they've made it pretty fun. It's got a really nice driving range with like a beer garden out there where you can have a lot of fun. So just depending on your location, it'll be where you can go public golf. Um, there's, like I said, there's a lot of semi-private, which you're able to play. Mm -hmm. um, and um, it just depends on where you're going to go for your vacation. Um, so, but up from Topsail all the way to Southport, you got a ton of golf. Yeah, that sounds like it. Um, so any hidden gems um, or courses that are kind of off the grid inland that might be worth, you know, trying on a trip to the coast? Um, I definitely would try the Muni, the, the Wilmington Muni. Um, I think another pretty good one, accessibility, is Beauvage up near Carolina Beach. Um, it's it's pretty fun to play. Um, Oak Island, if you go to Oak Island, Oak Island has a golf club on the island which is a pretty good little golf course. Um, you, you know, it just depends uh, it, where you are. <laughs> right. Well, it sounds like there's plenty in any direction. So. There is. <laughs> and it's funny because, you know, what we go to Carolina Beach, you know, once or twice a summer generally. And I don't feel like I've seen that many golf courses on the way there, but clearly they are just everywhere. Yes, they are. I'm not, I'm um, not looking. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Well, Jeff, now it's time for the lightning round portion of the podcast, where I ask you a series of icebreaker questions for you to answer quickly with the first thing that pops into your head. You ready to go? I'm ready. All right, let's do it. If you could bring back a fashion trend, what would it be and why? If I could bring back a fashion trend, what would it be and why? Anything? Maybe if you're talking golf, I'm talking the knickers. <laughs> bring back the knickers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> um if you could live in another historical period would you in which one oh uh, i'd have to live in 1800s in scotland oh in probably st andrews that that's the beginning of golf right yeah that's it there you go okay I might be able to compete with those guys. <laughs> <laughs> well being there at the forefront too that's pretty exciting stuff i'm sure um if you were reincarnated as an animal, what would you choose and why? Oh, no question. My dog, Louie. Because <laughs> <laughs> he is spoiled rotten, that's why. <laughs> oh, I don't doubt that. I have Dogs. a little Havanese Shih Tzu, and he is spoiled rotten. So <laughs> I'd come back as him, for sure. Oh, yeah. Live the life of leisure, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's one thing you are unbeatable at? Sales. Sales? Okay. Yeah. Nice. All right. Yeah, I'm a pretty good sales guy. <laughs> <laughs> that means real estate's good for you, huh? Yes. All it's right. Been great. It's been wonderful. I bet. Last one. How would you spend your days if you had unlimited time and resources? Oh, how would I spend my days? I probably would play golf in the morning and beach in the afternoon. And that's one, and I do that quite a bit. <laughs> I was going to say you probably do this already, but figured I had to ask. Perfect. Yeah, that's well, it. Maybe a fishing trip every once in a while too. Okay, we did a podcast on the coastal fishing. That sounds like a lot of fun there too. Yes, it's great. I bet. Well, so the area time, has. I mean, the area does have so much to offer. Oh, absolutely. I mean, there's too much to do when you visit just two or three days at a time, like I do. So. Need to like spend weeks there. But well, once again, Jeff, thank you for joining me today and talking about coastal golfing. Um, it was great picking your brain and learning about the hundreds of courses that are literally there. <laughs> so well, thank you, Sam. We appreciate it. When you come back down to Carolina Beach, let me know. We'll get together. Oh, I'd I'd love to see some of those courses for sure. Okay. Um, and then how can people contact you, Jeff, if they have any questions or need help with real estate? Well, they can contact me via my cell phone, 508-353-7282. Uh, so 508-353-7282. Love to hear from them. Perfect. I'm sure anyone who wants to talk about golf courses will give you a call. <laughs> All right. 
All right. Thank you, Sam. Yep. Thanks, Jeff. And if anyone wants more information about the firm, you can visit us at ivisterjackson.com. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.